Larry, you're in a very challenged job in 17 months, and it's not just obviously uh, Corona or Power, but you have a, 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 a gigantic aviation business that is the jewel, not just of your company, but I think of the world. And yet you have a max overhang that is going to make it so it's very difficult for you to predict what's going to happen. Are you confident that we're going to see some sort of 737 in the air by the end of this year, uh, 737 max? Well, I'm going to tuck in behind my, my customer and good friend Dave Calhoun on, on this topic, right? Bo Boeing, Boeing, I think, has been crystal clear that the regulators are going to shape the timing of the return to service. All of us are working to support Boeing and the FAA as best we can in that regard. So I don't think I have a different view than what Dave has expressed relative to a mid-year return to service. I think some of the uncertainty for us has been addressed, though. Uh, we shared on the call this morning that we, through our CFM joint venture with Safran, have reached an agreement with Boeing with respect to payment for the engines on the parked aircraft that were built last year, as well as the engines that will be delivered to Boeing right as now? they ramp. You have 19 parked? Well, yourself? The, the, well, the, the Not just the others, the but 20, you have parked, too. You own some planes. We, we do within our GCAS unit, yeah. but I'm really referring to the, no, I know. I'm the just planes built in 2019. Oh. So that gives us an opportunity to catch up and be paid during the course of this year for the, the engines that we deliver. That'll be a good thing at a time of some volatility to assure folks with respect to our cash position.